Well, hi everyone, it's Neil Weichel with Remax, and we've come to the end of May, uh, about two and a half months into the pandemic and how this, this crisis is impacting us in the real estate world. And what I'm here to share with you today is the month of May was even more surprising than the month of April. And you're gonna hear about this and see about this in other areas, but the truth is, is real estate in the month of May was robust. We had 365 homes so far, still a couple days left, 365 homes go under contract, which is more than we actually listed in the month of May. That is a clear sign of a strong, confident real estate market. Not what some might expect, but that's what's happening. Now, the first thing to take away is why is this happening? It's happening because buyers love the rates and sellers love the prices. Unless you go into the upper price ranges, Prices are not only stable, in some cases they're rising, especially under 700,000. And the rates are at an all-time low. This week, the last week of May, interest rates hit an all-time low. Now, that is fueling us, that is helping us, that is keeping this real estate market headed on a steady trajectory up. So if you're considering making a move in the next couple of months, there is absolutely no sign that suggests that it wouldn't be a good idea. We simply don't have enough homes for sale. You've heard me say that before. The second point that I want to share with you, and this is important, especially if you plan to not sell your home, but maybe refinance your home, or perhaps you're a little bit concerned about income and things like that. Forbearance has become a big topic in our industry. What does that mean? It means that if you're concerned about your income or your job, you have the ability to stop making your house payment, and it's not going to affect your credit, and it's something where you're not going to have to make those house payments until you're able to do so. A lot of people have asked me, Neil, what will cause this strong market to change? And the only answer is a lot of homes for sale. And the only way that's going to happen is if we have a lot of foreclosures. People are still bringing this up. It's not going to happen. And the reason it's not going to happen is because of the forbearance rules. It's going to make it very easy for people to stay in their homes and not worry that the bank's going to come knocking. If you have questions about forbearance and how it impacts the market, I'd like you to call me directly because every situation is different. So we're going into June and the market remains strong. Thank you.